why James is my hero. In 1953, January 27th, I'm on that, I was 10 years old. In January, I said that wrong, in 52, um, I'm on my mother died, I was 10 years old. January the 15th of 53, our father died, I was 11 years old. We moved with our grandparents. So that's what makes change. He's always been the older brother of the one four years before I was. So that made him have a responsibility to look, have to look out for me. He has been my hero all my life. He taught me how to swim. He taught me how to play domino. He taught me how to play big with. He taught me how to drive. He taught me just about everything I know. And when James got an opportunity, he's working at Spell College. I enrolled, uh, I had been to Mark Brown, I had been to Christ in 1960. I had uh, applied to Mark Brown College. James got an opportunity to go to prayer meeting because his boss wanted him to go there because James took a good work. So he went to prayer meeting. I immediately changed my application and went to prayer meeting. I went to prayer meeting on a short notice and I did not live in the dormitory because James lived in the, in the faculty dorm. I got to move into the faculty dorm with my brother. I would not live in the dormitory, I would not separate from my brother. So they had to let me live in the faculty dorm with my brother. Right. Okay. Later on that year, we got a third beer. <laughs> <laughs> that had to be said. After, after they got married, I said, three o'clock. <laughs> so I went home. And home was in a lot of joy. The next year, I went to Mars Brown. And I stayed there until I finished. I got my degree. I learned to love faith. At first, she promised. But I learned to love faith. And I, and I, and I cherished her gift. So my, my, my privilege is to acknowledge on the program it said, music department. But my guys in, in the mayor chorus said, we've come through for you. That's right. They did. That's right. And in case you didn't realize, <laughs> when did our director, he came through. He came through all the time. And I saw the program, I looked at my phone and I said, I want you to say that. Without hesitation, he said, he will. And, and he heard it, and he did. Now, I'm going to do what I'm supposed to do. I'm going to do I'm going to not now, let's go. And since I've got an age, I've got a birthday in June, so I've aged a little bit over where I'm at. <laughs> With deepest and special appreciation, the family James Merrill wants to send our thanks to our big family and everyone that called to express sympathy, and those that called and shared memories that made us laugh, laugh, visit, visit us, email, sent flowers, sent cards, made donations, and prayed for us during these challenging times. And that's a special thank goes to the Kendrick Home Hospice Team, the Stewart Board for Big Valley, the Classic House for Big Valley, Omega Pets Hollow of Fairfield, that's for that beloved dog, brother and sister Charles of Rose Cofield. Would pick up the phone and drop the hat and call you and, and say encouraging words. Sister Cynthia Colton, same thing. Sister Young Pauline Martin White, who burned the phone up with praises and, and uh, charm. <laughs> the WB Casey family, they pay well well for. Sister Virginia Eman, who is an honorary family member and the daughter of me. Reverend William Leach, a family member. Karen Harris Moore, MD, doctor that looked after him. Sonia Sari, MD, the doctor that had to look after him. Edith Hill and Edna Miller, a lot of ladies who came, flew in to spend time to help pay through her immediate uh, program. And a special thanks goes to a woman who did more than their wife could do. When you get married, I understand, never had that trouble. But, uh, <laughs> Those who 
you say, I do. And I love and cherish your sickness and health. Faith did more than that. She did her life with you. She took care of him while he was well. While she was sick, he took care of her. And when Jane got sick again, Faye was there all the time, 24 7. You cannot ask for a better person for Jane to go out saying goodbye to her. But I want Faye to know, Jane left her in good hands. She left her in my hands. She left her in God's hands. She left her in the family hands. And you go with him. One of us. Yeah. You've been with him 60 years. Yeah. I've known him for 78 years. Wow. I'll watch 79. <laughs> but I, I've known him for 78 years. First year, I'm 79. He died before I turned 79. That's why. Uh, all in all, family showed up, showed out. Yeah. You're there all the time. Crime numbers. We love you, each and every one of you. Thank you again. The pastor, all over the hospital came out. Ronnie came in a little late for whatever reason. Why? But she's here. So we want to say thank you. We love you. And may God bless you. And another thing on the program is listed that last week or so, we went to our cousin memorial. We found out then her, her favorite song was the Halloween Curse. And that was also Jane's favorite song, Halloween Girl. So that's why, at the end of this, we want to play that for us to remember him well. He will never be forgotten. He is my hero. He is my mentor, and he's my love. Thank you.